Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Mountain Standard Time. Today we are taking a look at the Coefficient by Par Weber. All right, first I'd like to thank my friend Ross for sending me this watch for the review. And I have to admit, I was questioning why he sent it to me. Second, why did he buy this watch? I have never heard of Par Weber. So as soon as I got it, as soon as I looked at it, I thought, oh, cool. This watch has a fully loomed dial. And I hit it with a UV light, went into a closet to check out the loom. Uh-uh, nothing. So I'm like, what's going on here? Why did Ross buy this watch? Well, it turns out that this is a pretty damn cool watch, and we'll get into that later. But first, let's take a look at the specs on this watch. It says here that it has a diameter of 43 millimeters, but you can see the bezel comes out from the case just a little bit. So the case width is 42 millimeters. The bezel is 43 millimeters. The height of the watch is 14 millimeters. The lug width is 20 millimeters. And its weight is 95 grams. The highlight of this watch is a patent pending Enduro Loom system that was created by this company with 80% of the content made in the US. The case is PVD coated and has a sapphire crystal so it won't scratch. It has a 120 click bi-directional bezel, water resistant to 100 meters, and it has a Swiss made quartz movement, the Ronda 715. Now, if you'll take a look at the batteries, two batteries are listed, one for the watch itself and the other for the Enduro Loom. The watch is hackable and there is a date window at the three o'clock position and you can adjust that date bi-directionally. So if you happen to go a little too far, you can back it up with no problem. So let's talk about the real reason why you buy this watch. It is the Enduro Loom technology that Par Weber has created. So let's look at the Loom shot here. This watch doesn't use traditional chemical loom for the handsets. As you can see, they have small LED diodes behind every hour marker that runs constantly on a dedicated battery, which lasts over three years. So I have to admit, my camera did not do this watch justice, so I stole this footage from the Par Weber website. And here it shows their loom up against a conventional Seiko watch that has Super Luminova. So what we're seeing here is in the beginning, the Seiko was beating the Enduro loom, but as time goes on, actually after 20 minutes, things are equal. And then it's just domination by Par Weber, 24 seven constant loom. Here's some cool macro shots of the watch. You can see that the uh, PVD coating on the case is just really high level coin edge bezel there. What I do like about this watch though is on the back of the case, They've got everything that you need to know about this watch. The movement, the batteries that you need for the watch, the lug width, the water resistance of 100 meters. It's all there, simple. Another thing I like about this watch is the end of the hour hand. That triangle is actually cut out so you can see the Par Weber logo when the hand is over the logo. But when it's not, it looks like it's just a normal chemical loomed triangle. Cool optical illusion there. All right, guys, this is bonus material. I wanted to show you a cool little different technique of wearing your NATO straps. And I learned this from ID guy on YouTube. So you take that inner webbing and you fold it over on itself and you pull the strap through both buckles. And that will, if you move the case, that will make it so that the, the loop or the extra part of the strap is actually underneath your wrist. 
and voila, here you go. So all the extra strap is underneath the wrist and the top is nice and clean and you just get to show off that cool case and that cool enduro loom. All right, I think we'll end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did, please give me a like and please subscribe to the channel so I can bring you more content. And we will catch you guys later. Bye.